Health Spotlight, presented by Community Health Network. Well, let's bring in Wish TV medical expert and former U.S. Surgeon General, Dr. Jerome Adams. Good evening to you, sir. Good evening. Indiana is now in the very high flu spread category. I know that's not news to you. The state had its first pediatric flu death, always difficult to hear and report. What do parents need to know about the flu and their kids? Well, what they need to know is that children, uh, young children and especially babies are particularly susceptible to the flu virus and children under five are at higher risk of complications. We've got a early flu season. It's already worse than last year in terms of number of deaths. And uh, the predominant strain this year is the H3N2 strain, which we know traditionally is more likely to cause deaths. So parents need to be very, very cognizant of this risk that's out there and take actions to protect their kids. So as they're watching symptoms develop, when is it time to head to the hospital? Uh, Great question. Uh, Difficulty breathing is, of course, a sign that you need to head into the hospital. So if you've got a child who really is working hard to breathe, I'll often tell parents, pull up a shirt and look and see if you can see their ribs moving. That means they're working really hard to breathe. If they're um, having discoloration, uh, which means they're not getting enough oxygen, then that may be a time to bring them in. And if they're getting dehydrated, they're not using the bathroom, they're lethargic, meaning they're, they're, they're acting tired. Those are all signs and symptoms. You know your child. If your child looks like they're going downhill, um, take them in because, again, we've already had one unfortunate death this season. Uh, we don't want a preventable flu death because you didn't go in for treatment or because you didn't take precautions precautionary measures like getting vaccinated. And as we've talked at so much at length about so much that's going around right now, the RSV and COVID in addition to flu, it's just hard to stay healthy, it seems right now. Of course, the vaccine is still an option for the flu. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services says it would like to have 70 percent of Americans get a flu shot by the end of the decade. But fewer than 50 percent of Americans have gotten a yearly flu shot over the last 10 years. So are people doing enough to avoid getting sick? Well, uh, I think the proof is in the uh, the outcomes that we're seeing. No, we're not doing enough to prevent getting sick. So remember the three C's, clean, cover and contain. Clean your hands, cover your uh, mouth when you cough or sneeze. And contain means stay home when you're sick. But as you mentioned, one of the most effective tools to preventing hospitalization and death from the flu and preventing spread is the flu shot. It's a particularly good match this year. Anyone over the age of six months can get a flu shot, but not enough people are taking advantage of it. You don't want to be sick. You don't want to have the flu and you don't want to have a terrible tragedy this holiday season. So remember, it's not too late to get that flu shot before you go into the Christmas holidays. I imagine you might feel like a broken record on this topic and on COVID-19 vaccines as well. Boosters are also falling. Less than one out of every seven eligible for a booster shot has gotten one. What do you think is vaccine fatigue a factor in all of this? Well, vaccine fatigue is is particularly a factor, but I think quite frankly, um, government officials, and I was one of them, uh, did a poor job of communicating about the vaccines and the boosters. Uh, The strains have changed. And so it's important, just like we get a yearly flu shot for people to get an update of their COVID booster. It will, again, the booster is also a good match for the circulating strains, but it's not gonna help you if you don't actually get the shot. You can get your flu shot and your booster at the same time, will protect you again from hospitalization and death, may may protect you from long COVID, uh, which is affecting many more people uh, than, uh, than what we like to acknowledge and realize. And it pre- can prevent you from being in the hospital or missing that holiday trip. So again, these are two really safe, really effective measures that not enough people are utilizing. And I do feel like a broken record, but I also hear from people who watch us on Wish TV and say, thanks, Doc. Thanks for sharing that information every single time we talk about this. And, and uh, they go out and they get their flu shot or their booster shot. So it's not too late. And I'm not giving up on people because I want them to have a happy holiday season. Absolutely. Good to hear it. OK, let's move from preventative measures to treatment for various issues. Many Americans are having trouble finding high profile over the counter and prescription drugs. Among them, the antibiotic amoxicillin. What do people mm-hmm. do if they can't find a particular medication? Well, also shortages of Tylenol, Motrin, some cold medicines. Um, remember that some of these drugs come in generic formats, 
And so you want to make sure if you're getting a prescription drug or if you're getting Tylenol or Motrin that you ask whether or not they have the generic form available if they don't have the brand name available. You may have to shop around at many different pharmacies. And what's nice is you can go online now and find out um, other pharmacies that may have it available. But you, maybe your favorite pharmacy is out. You're going to have to go to a different store. Um, but again, it's tough. It's tough. We aren't quite at the point where you can't get them. You're just going to have to look a little bit harder for some of these medications, like you said, common antibiotics, over-the-counter cold medications, Tylenol, and uh, ibuprofen. All right. Dr. Jerome Adams, always appreciate your time and insight as our medical expert. Have a great night. Thank you. I always appreciate the opportunity to talk with you. Stay safe this flu season. Get your shots. Get your boosters. And remember, clean, cover, and contain. That's the way we get through this holiday season. All right. Thanks so much.